Hey guys, what's up? So this is really, really cool. Welcome to this episode. I'm gonna show you how to get started with building websites to get massive results. A lot of people have asked me on this channel and it's something I wanna show for a while. What's the very first stage to getting going? If you have very little experience, if you just started, if you are experienced, how do you begin a project that ends up getting massive results? And basically why you wanna do this, why you wanna have massive results, it's that's gonna make you more profitable as a web designer, more in demand, easier to get future projects. So where I recommend starting, and this is what I'm gonna show you in this episode, uh, the best way to get started is sitting down with the business owner if you can, or doing this over the phone, and basically finding out everything there is to know about their business. So if you're ready to go, let's jump in and have a talk with this business owner and see how it goes. Okay, so to give you some context on this one, this is Three Ring City Boxing Gym here in Gdansk, Poland, where I live and these guys have had to adjust their business like a lot of other businesses with the whole COVID situation. So they used to have a much larger location. Now they've moved to the smaller boxing gym and the focus going forward is gonna be on one-on-one -on -one lessons and switching up their business plan. So my goal here is to find out what's going on with the business, what problems they have, and then look and see if I can solve those problems using web design and add as much value as possible. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is exactly where to get started. What's the very first step that you should take to build an amazing website? Now for me, what I wanna do with my websites is really help the client as much as possible. I wanna help their business grow, to improve, to increase sales, to make the business easier to run. So to do that, I need to understand what's going on with the business. What's the current situation? What's the problems? What's the challenges? What are they trying to achieve? What could I help with? When I do that, it means that the website is directly connected to what the business needs. It's not a website that just looks good, that does nothing. It's a website that means something for the business. It's helping them, it's growing the business, it's improving the business, it's adding real value to the business. So the very first step of this process is sitting down with the business owner and just understanding what's going on, asking a bunch of good questions and just getting into the details and seeing the opportunities for you to add value. Again, it's not about technical skills, it's much more about just knowing what they need knowing what problems to solve and what to do with the website. You can do this with very, very basic code and design skills. It's much more about the strategy and the mindset. So that's enough of an intro. Let's get straight into it. I'll show you this process, exactly how to do this. And then at the end, we can recap and go from there. So if you're ready to go, let's jump in. Also check out the links below for different resources and just extra things with this video. So let's do it. Cool, all right. <laughs> all right, dude. Thanks. Cool. Uh, yeah, to start off, man, do you just want to tell me generally about the business, like how we got started and what's going on at the moment? Um, it's basically, it's a boxing gym yes. uh, which is open free till nine o'clock. The gym called Ring Free City. So we opened six years ago, then we just changed that place for a new one. We got a couple of months uh, in a new place. The main idea was white collar boxing, which is uh, quite popular in Europe and really popular in the uh, UK. Just to say quickly what white collar boxing sure. is, is, is a boxing for, for everyone and someone who really like to join a boxing match, which is we prepare him for a couple of months, two or three months of hard training. They train as a, as a professionals. They're training with professionals, they do the trainings of uh, endurance, stamina, all, all this uh, sparrings. Then when they prepare, we try to sort the match to someone next to him. The opponent is gonna have the same level. It's gonna, it's gonna be boxing night, which is a uh, hundred of people around him. We sell tickets, we, we got the proper uh, professional referees. He can um, feel as a real boxer. And um, that's what the main, idea is so with the gym going forward what's what's the ideal scenario for you like what way do you want to set up this gym we would like to train people who really um, know what they want um, of course we open for everyone everyone can come and, and do some training do some pad works but mostly it's like if i want to join the gym i want to join minimum for a couple of months try how is it how the trainings you know there's a couple of different trainings different uh, 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 different levels and uh, finally the target which is uh, white collar boxing night and and the match and sure that's, that's exactly it. so you want a guy or girl who's taking it serious and wants to progress basically like they want to actually do something with boxing yeah they yeah that's exactly it. someone to try it and not just once or two just just you know for fun or just you know plenty of guys they just do some boxing gym then they you know whole weekend parties parties you know 
that that's the private life but i really want to someone to be focused and feel how the professional fighter feel exactly before the preparation how the camp looks like how everything um, every single uh, uh, thing uh, he go the same way you know the same path as a professional boxer uh, till the boxing night. So for getting new people into the gym at the moment, I know that you don't have a current website, so right now is it just word of mouth or it's reputation from the past? How are you getting new people to come here and join? At the moment, we work on Facebook, we work yeah. on old clients, they, they got my, my contact number, they observe the fan page on Instagram, on Facebook, but um, those people they from the old gym before the COVID. Now we want to focus and build up that website information about what is white collar boxing, for who is white collar boxing, you know all this health and safety stuff to to to, uh, to show people uh, how, why, with who, when. For you as a business owner what do you want to see with the website like what systems do you want in there what setup do you want it to have at the moment I need to answer a call yeah and put someone on the list for for example next training so then then is a list is full sometimes someone no show sometimes you just you know someone cancel hour before so I don't really I cannot really control that yeah. so for example I, I can put 10 people to the gym then three of them, they not show up, they just, you know, cancel. And there is seven people only, it's supposed to be 10. So that's for the group classes. And then that's for, for the, the group classes. For the one-on-one -on -one people, do you want them to come down and do like a trial day to talk on the phone with you first? Exactly, at the moment, you know, I really want to do this gym full. So my idea is to start uh, working with a new trainer, uh, one maximum, then we can work um, and prepare people for this white collar boxing shows. So the most important stuff for the website, target the right people, show them about the gym. Yeah, yeah, show them, show them gym. What, what, yeah. what, what, what is all about? Who is t running the gym? Who is training in the gym? And for who is that gym? So uh, the main things, as I said, is going to be white collar boxing. Yeah. Plus, uh, you know, the group trainings. So everyone from the beginning, from completely green to yeah. start even even professional fighters that came, came, came here and, and join our class. Cool. Yeah. So if the website you know works perfectly for you, what difference do you want to see? Like what's what's gonna be the big thing that you want from the website? Maybe the good thing in website it will be um, kind of uh, questionnaire uh, like a table, like, like like something like contact, n not by phone and asking some kind of questions. Just yeah. you know the questionnaire, so they can answer themselves what they want exactly. And if they really want asking something, they can r write me an email, so I can send them back. Sure. But not like answer phone twenty times an hour and just you know, sure, so, sure. no, okay, no, yes, uh, what kind of gloss, what kind of that, you know, what I mean, just just to make me uh, make my job easier. Yeah. Yeah. So show who you are, let's say, show the gym. Yeah. Explain white collar, explain the basic questions. The how much is the form. membership card? How much yeah, is yeah. one personal training? How much is one one uh, one training session? And for example, how much the white collar gonna cost? Uh, make everything easy. And I know if it's nice and smart website, easier for them to make the decision, yes or not, you know? Cool. The decision is before they step to the gym. Yeah, sounds like, I think that's pretty much everything for now, so later we can follow up and any small detailed stuff, we can get into it. Okay, great. Cool, perfect man. Thanks. Thank you Cheers. so much. <laughs> cool guys, so that went really, really well. I got tons of good information on the current situation that he has, the problems that he's facing, the different challenges, what he's trying to do with the business. That is the perfect place to start with building a great website. So again, with any website that I'm building, I want it to serve a real purpose. I want it to actually help the business, move the business forwards, help it grow, help it improve. So I gotta start with knowing what the situation is. So doing an interview like that, whether it's in person or on the phone or on Zoom, whatever it is, just starting off with knowing exactly what's going on, knowing what they need, that's gonna give you the information to then build a great solution. So what I'm gonna do is in the next episode, I'm gonna start building this website and showing you how to use the information that you get from a talk like that 
and start figuring out exactly what to do with the website, how to put that into a website to make it a, a great solution. So that's it for this episode. Really hope that you enjoyed it. Again, check out the links below this video and in the very next episode, we'll continue with this process, use what we took here today and start putting it into a great website. I wanna show you everything, so hit subscribe. Catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching this one. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next time.